Welcome back, friends. It is February 1st today, which means it's a fresh month, a chance for a fresh start. And today we're going to be talking about in bulk. In bulk is a, it's not really a holiday necessarily. It's it can be if you're a practicing Wiccan or Pagan, you might know about in bulk. But in bulk is simply the time that is halfway between our winter solstice and our spring equinox. This is called a cross quarter, and it is just simply telling us where the sun is in the sky. So for some people, this might have some spiritual significance. For the rest of us, we might not even know that we're at that point in the year. But I have found it personally to be very instructive to my life and to my lifestyle and really to increase my quality of life when I can follow the seasons of the year, the cycle of the year more closely because I find that it increases my awareness of what's going on around me, my connection with nature, and those things help me to make better decisions for my overall wellness and for my lifestyle that really do help to increase my quality of life. So in bulk, is usually on February 1st. And again, this is halfway between that winter solstice and the spring equinox coming up in March. Now, if you are living in more temperate areas of the world, what you might be noticing right now is even if there's snow on the ground, underneath that snow, you might be having some very early things pop up out of the ground. You might start to notice the grass greening up again, or maybe there's some very early bulbs that are starting to poke their heads through the soil. But if you're living really far north, like I do here in North Dakota, you might not be noticing those types of changes, but you might start to notice changes in the quality of light. This is something that I've always noticed in February is that in February we have Valentine's Day and everything's for focused on love and romance. I notice the love and romance in the sky. I notice that the sky has a pinker hue to it, that it's a little bit brighter than it has been the last couple of months. And I notice for the first time without looking at my clock or the calendar that the length of daylight is increasing. So I noticed the other night that it was past four o'clock and it wasn't dark yet and that was something to celebrate. And it's because we're at this, at this cross quarter time where we really are making our way through the winter and we're not in the depth of winter yet or anymore, I should say. We're not in the depth of winter anymore. Um, so what we want to do then is to consider our purpose for winter and our purpose for spring and figure out where we are with those two things and where we want to be. And that's what I like about acknowledging in bulk. So our purpose for winter, as I've talked about on previous episodes, is to store and to rest and to restore. It is the time of year where we want to go very, very inward. We want to do a lot of introspection and we want to do a lot of dreaming, thinking about what do we really want for the coming season? What do we really want for the coming year? What would be our best outcomes? What would be our ideal life? What would our ideal settings and our ideal connections look like? What does our health look like? All of those things. We just want to spend that time in the deep winter to really go inward and think about those things. What is naturally going to come out of that then, when we hit our equinox, is that our purpose is going to change. And our purpose, if we're more attached to nature and the cycles of nature in terms of what we subsist from, this would be extremely obvious to us. Because what we have to do in spring is to plant. We have to plant the seeds of those plants. Where we are here in in bulk today is halfway between those two points. And that means that even though we're still very much in that deep dreaming stage, we might want to start more specifically scaffolding some of our plans for that planting season. So today I want to give you two things that you can do to acknowledge in bulk. And if it doesn't happen today, do it sometime this week. Do it sometime in the next couple of weeks. It's okay. This is not an exact science. There are some people that actually choose to quote unquote celebrate in bulk later in the year because where they are in terms of their geography indicates that they're too far north and it doesn't really make sense for them. So whatever makes sense for you, whenever it starts to feel like, oh, this is the time that I really want to not just be thinking about the thoughts that I've had, <laughs> but I actually want to be doing something with those plans. That would be your time to celebrate in bulk. 
The other thing that we can do with Imbolc is like acknowledge that we've been inside for a whole bunch of time now, if, especially if we're further north. We have been spending a lot of time indoors. So our first tip for today, something to do on Imbolc, is to open up your doors and windows and air out your home. Super, super simple thing to do. But one of the things that gets so compromised in our deep winter time is our indoor air quality. And in fact, there's a lot of studies out there now that show that indoor air quality is oftentimes more compromised than the outdoor air quality in polluted areas. Isn't that shocking? So it doesn't have to be for a long period of time, but just throw up those windows and doors and let there get a crosswind blowing so you can get some of that stale, icky air and stale, icky energy out and freshen up your space. Bonus would be if you want to smudge your space first so that it's nice and smoky and then allow that fresh air in by opening up the windows and doors to clear that smoke out and oftentimes the, the smoke will bring other particles with it that you want out of your space, which is awesome. This is a simple thing. Anybody can do this unless their windows and doors are painted shut and in which case I'm very sorry. <laughs> Uh, I noticed that some of my windows were actually frozen shut this morning, which was a surprise. But I was able to get a good cross when blowing earlier, and man, it really invigorated me. It freshened up the house, and it just helped it to feel like a fresh start. So that's tip number one to acknowledge in bulk is just get some fresh air going in your house. Tip number two is really fun. And it's my favorite thing to do this time of year. And if you're a fellow gardener, you're probably also getting the catalogs. And that is to sit down and plan your garden for the year. Now, this can be as big or as small as you want. If you've never taken care of a living green thing, maybe this is just to sit down and say, okay, I want to, I want to bring some house plants into my home, or I want to, I want to plant some pot patio pots that I can have out on my deck or out on my lawn that I can take of take, take care of during the spring and the summertime and maybe even get a little bit of harvest from them in terms of some fresh herbs, some fresh flowers, maybe some lettuces, maybe even tomatoes. I've seen people do cherry tomatoes and even large sized tomatoes on just very small apartment decks and do really beautifully with it or even on their window ledges if they have really great sun exposure. If you have the opportunity and the privilege of stewarding some land, then you can sit down and you can say, okay, what do I want to have planted so that I can harvest it this year? Maybe it's gonna be the same things that you always plant and you just wanna change up where you plant them because that is a good thing to do. You don't wanna keep planting the same things in the same spots over and over and over again. That depletes the, the minerals of the soil, the vitamins and all of the things in the soil that the plants need. It also is going to increase your chances and likelihood of different kinds of pestilence, whether it's downy mildew or it's other bacteria or blights or things like that. So you wanna rotate your crops. So maybe it's sitting down and doing some space planning for your outdoor spaces and what you're gonna put in them. And then the most fun part of this, I think, is going through all of the seed catalogs and figuring out what varieties you wanna be producing this year and it is so exciting to do this because it's colorful. One of the things that we lack in the winter is color. We look outside, everything tends to be brown or white or very drab and the sky is low and very often overcast. And oftentimes it is just soul feeding to look at some beautiful colored photos of some beautiful plants and dream about the potentials and the possibilities for the future. You do want to get your seeds ordered if you have anything that you're going to need to start ahead of time. So not just planning anymore. So there's a little bit of implementation that starts to happen in this in bulk season. We're not just dreaming and thinking anymore. We're not in full action mode either. We're in this sort of weird transitional in between time. So figuring out what you want to be planting, what you're going to need for that, where you want to be spending your money. I personally have used a couple of different seed companies for years that I love to order from. I love to order from One Green World for my larger trees and shrubs and things like that. This year I ordered a stone pine that is going to give 
pine nuts, which is one of my favorite things to eat. Now that'll be years from now, but that's part of the hope of gardening and planting is that you're not just planting for yourself, you're planting for the future. I also found a new medicinal seed company and in my herbal business and through the apothecary, I'm hoping to be able to offer more Arcadia grown, permaculturally grown products from our land. And I was able to source a bunch of seeds for those things. And I'm so excited about it. So this is just a really fun thing to do. And it's a, it's a, it's an awesome way to connect with nature at a time when we have a lot of disconnection from nature, just simply because of the weather. If you are feeling the doldrums of the winter, this planning is one of the best things you can do to uplift your mood, I promise you, because it's getting your eyes lifted from your current circumstances to know that there are more beautiful days ahead where you can be outside in connection with nature in that way where you're stewarding the land, you're growing that produce, you're harvesting that harvest for yourself. So that's in bulk. Uh, and if you've never heard of it, there you go. Now you know about it. It's cross quarter. It we're halfway between that winter solstice and that spring equinox. And so this is a chance for you to do a little bit of a tweak in your current lifestyle, to do some planning for the future and to clear out your space a little bit for what comes from now, from now at in bulk to the spring equinox. So this is a little bit of preparation for you. And I hope this was helpful and inspirational to you today. If you liked it, please comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So you always know when new episodes are coming. And if you're listening on your podcast app, I always appreciate those five-star reviews. And especially if you share this and I will see you next time.